Hey guys, in this video I would like to um, give you a bit of a first impression of Ubuntu 11.4 Beta 1. Um, I haven't really um, played around with 11.4 yet, so I am going to discover things as you see them on the screen. Um, it will give you an idea of what it should be like when you install it. Um, so, and if you're having any issues um, with Ubuntu 11.4, specifically um, having no menu bars or no uni Unity interface, then you should see the um, last video that I um, uploaded. This should be a video response to the last video that I uploaded. Um, anyhow, let's look at the Unity bar first. I'm not sure what it's called, though I'm just going to refer to it as the Unity bar. So we have the Home folder. What happens? Yep, it opens up the home folder in a separate window. You know, it looks the same as it would in any other um, version of Ubuntu, really, as far as I can tell. Um, and we have Firefox in the um, Unity bar by default. I assume that this is Firefox um, 4. And um, as you can see, the interface has um, changed quite a bit. You have this um, top bar here. And as you can see, you have um, the sort of U, the Ubuntu bar here. Oh, it has changed um, drastically. It's amazing how much it has changed. So if you um, hover over the top button here, it brings up sort of, um, I don't know, a bit of a shadow of the Unity um, sidebar. Though as soon as you move off of it, it disappears. And if you then click the button, you can then obviously, um, you know, make another selection, which, you know, I quite like. So you've pretty much got um, a full screen experience, pretty much. And um, it appears that they have also adopted, um, um, you know, a Mac um, style menu bar at the top, which changes with each application, I imagine, which is um, pretty neat, really, um, about Firefox. Yep, it's Firefox um, 4, as you would expect. Um, and I'm going to minimize this. I'm not sure where it goes when you minimize it. Oh, yeah, it has this sort of triangle icon to signify that it's running, I believe, which is pretty nice. And if I close it, the icon obviously goes away. And, you know, as expected, um, Ubuntu 11.4 has LibreOffice opposed um, to OpenOffice. So, you know, you should have the whole, um, you know, the whole suite installed. You know, you've probably already, um, you know, played around with LibreOffice by now. Most um, Linux distributions have adopted it. Um, so you have Writer, Calc and Impress in the um, Unity sort of dock bar by default. And you have the Ubuntu Software Center, which I believe has changed. I believe that you are now able to write reviews and, um, you know, give application star ratings, if I'm not mistaken. So let's look at a category. Um, let's see what will happen if I click on Internet. And let's just go to Web Browsers. And yep, um, as you can see, there are already a few different ratings here. What is there? Uh, let's look at Chromium Web Browsers. 76 different ratings. Click More Info. You know, it's got four and a half stars. You know, this should um, help you, you know, determining what to download you know, what other people like. Um, I'm not sure if you can get reviews or not. Oh, it's checking for reviews. This might take a little while to um, load. And as you can see, there are, you know, quite a few reviews. They are all pretty much very positive, obviously. It's a good product, Chromium. So that's the Ubuntu Software Center. And I believe that um, the categories have been, or departments as they call them, I believe these have been around since 10.4 now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ubuntu One, I haven't really played around with, you know, their cloud storage um, system yet. It's on my to-do list. Though you obviously, um, if you join, you get two gigabytes of um, free space, which is, you know, pretty generous. So it's not as good as, say, um, Dropbox, where you get five gig, that's still pretty good. I will hopefully, um, get the time to do a bit of a review on that in an upcoming video. Uh, we have a link to the terminal and workspace switcher. Um, I quite like this. I'm not completely sure how it works. So let's say I open Firefox in this um, workstation. And now let's try 
switching workstations. That was the works. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was the workstation switcher button, wasn't it? Okay, I'm a bit confused with that. I'm, I'm a bit confused as to how this works. So, okay, I'm going to go back to this workstation. I will open Firefox again. Now, I'm going to click this. Though, I'm not completely sure how it works. I'm not sure whether or not this is a bug because this is beta. Oh yeah, just open down um, then. Oh, maybe you have to double click it. If you single click it, it won't work. Yeah. And you also have to um, double click the actual workstation. You know, I'm used to um, single clicking in, you know, Linux distributions. So um, it appears to work though it's not very clear as to single or double click initially though once you install it and get used to it it won't be a problem um, what else have we got here files and folders I quite like this um, I don't know what will happen if I type G okay M music this must just be searching your home folder I imagine and what have we got here applications so, um, oh yeah, we have apps available for download, we have the installed applications and the most um, frequently used. Let's see if it will, um, you know, I'm going to um, try typing Chromium and see if it comes up um, with a download link. Ah uh, yeah, oh that's pretty good. I have yet to um, really play around with GNOME 3. Though um, I am quite liking this Unity um, interface. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And how do you get out of it? Do you just click this X? No, that's to um, clear um, what's in the bar there. So, yep, you just click um, this sort of Ubuntu menu bar icon in the top to get out of it. And you have shortcuts here. Um, you can hide and show shortcuts. Can you create new ones? You can't right click. So by default, find media apps, find internet apps, find more apps, find files, listen to music, etc. Banshee appears to be the um, default player. I'm pretty sure that's Banshee, isn't it? What have we got here in the top menu bar? Okay, it's not really doing anything when I'm right clicking on it. it I'm sure it came up with a menu before, though it's not doing anything for me right now for some reason. Actually, the whole menu bar is a bit, um, well, it's not very responsive. Oh, yeah, it seems to be working now. We obviously have the um, volume control. We have this um, sort of Banshee um, part here, which I believe has also been here since 11.4 now. Sound preferences. Let's see if this will work now. I'm sure it um, gave a menu before, though it's not working now. Uh, you can set up chat, set up mail, set up broad. Um, broadcast account, Ubuntu Run. I believe that's all um, been there for quite a while. Um, I don't know, it's not being very responsive. Like you should get an icon when you left and right, or right click that. So it's not working. Oh, it seems to be working now, or it was just working then. It shouldn't be slow, this virtual machine's got um, 2 gigabytes of RAM and a relatively fast processor. I should also get a calendar that pops out here. I'm not sure whether or not it's because it's the beta version or why it's not working um, very well. I know it's playing up at the moment though um, that's pretty much it really. I'm not sure if there is anything else I can show you. Um, I'm not sure why it's being a bit buggy. You know, it's playing up a bit, this top menu bar. I don't know why. Hopefully, um, hopefully if there are any issues to do with the menu bar, it is resolved. Oh yeah, it seems to be working now. So obviously under your username, you can set your status, set up chat accounts, broadcast accounts, you know, um, your About Me card. Oh, it seems to be working now. Uh, you know, you can, you know, lock it. 
unlock um, the screen, um, set up a guest um, session, switch users, you know, all of the usual, um, you know, options, you know, log out, suspend, hibernate, restart, shut down, system settings. Um, oh, yep, here's the calendar. I quite like the new calendar and it's also, um, you know, it's quite nice how you can easily um, add events also. Um, and yep, you, this is for the Ethernet, so you have a few different Ethernet options here. Um, let's see what happens when I click Add Event. And hopefully something does happen. Oh yeah, you need to set up Evolution Mail, I believe. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't know what else I can show you. So also, um, if you right click some of these icons, like if you right click the, um, you know, the trash can, it comes up with empty rubbish bin. Um, and you know, you can right click other icons here, you know, keep in launcher. I'm not sure, how do you add other icons to the launcher? If I create a launcher, actually no, I can't be bothered right now. So it should be a matter of dragging and dropping icons into the launcher, I imagine. So what will happen if I what something? Let's see what installed applications we have. Okay, let's see. Um, we have Banshee here. Can I drag and drop it? Or ah, uh, yep, you can drag and drop it. And what if you drag it over the trash can? Yep, that deletes it. That's pretty nice. I suppose I should also show you um, the default applications installed. Uh, just quickly, um, you know, we obviously have the um, Banshee Media Player, we have LibreOffice and Firefox. Uh, is there anything else? We have um, Empathy, Evolution Mail, we have Gribba, which is, you know, I'm not sure whether or not it's been updated since I last used it, though. It was a bit buggy the last time I used it. Um, anything else here? Uh, no, it's all pretty standard really. Not much is new in terms of default applications apart from LibreOffice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you have any questions then feel free to um, leave a comment below or send me a message. And thanks for watching.